Do you ever feel like your meeting notes are a total mess? Maybe you have them in several paper notebooks, in different kinds of documents, but basically it's impossible for you to find what you talked about. And also it's really hard for your team members to find their meeting notes in any one place. I've got you covered. In this video, we're going to show you how you can create a simple meeting note tracker in Notion to keep all of your meeting notes organized in one place. I'm Taina Perenemi, the founder and CEO of a leading Notion certified agency. We help our clients every day keep track of their notes and other information. In this short video, my team member Dunstan is going to show you exactly how you can create our simple Notion meeting tracker from beginning to end. All right, let me show you what kind of meeting tracker we will be creating in this tutorial. Let me open the template right here. So basically, this is a simple Notion template that you can use to keep track of all your meetings and meeting notes in one place using Notion. Each of the meetings you track here will have a title, they will have a date, they will have a list of attendees, and we also have a meeting note template that gets automatically created for new meetings so that each meeting will have an agenda and also a placeholder to add the notes. The first tab here is showing you a list of all the different meetings you have sorted by date. Clicking here will let you open the detailed notes about the meeting. Then we have, a, have another tab here called grouped by type. And here you can see all of your meeting notes grouped by type, as the title says. The My Meetings tab will show you everything so that it's filtered by you as an attendee. So this way you can easily see only the meetings where you attended. Finally, the Calendar tab shows all of the different meetings, past and upcoming, in a calendar view so that you can easily see what's going to be happening and when. Next, Dunstan from our team is going to show you exactly how you can create that same template from scratch. As always, let's start first with a blank Notion page. Under Get Started With, let's choose Table. Let's name this table as Meetings. Let's choose an appropriate icon by clicking the button here. And add a cover. Let's name this table view as All Meetings. After renaming the table view, let's now add our properties for the database. Click the menu here, select Properties, and let's first delete the Tags property. After deleting the tags property, let's rename the name property and name this as meetings. Now we can add more properties to our property list. For the second property, let's add a date property. And keep the name of the date property. Go back to our new properties and search for our third property. Type person, choose person, and rename this property as attendees. Click back. And now search for a select property. Rename the select property as type. And let's add the types of meetings 
that will be saved in this database. Let's add the following options. First, let's add one for training. Let's add one for team weekly. And let's add another one for brainstorming. Now that we have created the properties of our database, let's now sort the table. Click the sort button here and choose date. Let's modify the filter so that the most recent meeting will show first. Click save for everyone and click the sort button again to hide the sorting setting. Now let's add a template for our database. Let's click the button here and click new template. For our template, let's name this as meeting. Let's add an appropriate icon. There will be three sections for the body of the page. To add the first section, let's add the heading one. Let's name this first section as agenda. The agenda of the meeting will be added here. Now let's add bulletin list blocks. Duplicate this block. To add the second section of the page, let's add another heading. Let's name this heading as Notes. Add the divider below it and duplicate the list blocks that we've created under Agenda here. Copy and paste it under Notes. To see what the entries will look like, we can now delete the default entries. Before adding our new sample entries, let's make sure first that our template is the default one. Click the button here. And click this button here. And set it as the default template. Now we can add our sample entries. Let's name this as meeting one, the second as meeting two, and the third one as meeting three. Let's set sample dates to our entries. And add our attendees. We can set meeting tree as a brainstorming meeting, or a team weekly meeting, or a training meeting. After adding the sample entries, we can now add more views to the database. Let's duplicate all meetings and rename this duplicated database view as group by type. Modify the group setting here and choose type. This way, the database will group our meetings by type. Duplicate all meetings and rename this new database view as My Meetings. Go to Filter and click Attendees. Modify the Attendees setting and it should contain B. 
click save for everyone. Go back. And now, your database view will show only meetings that you have attended or will attend in the future. Let's create one more view by duplicating all meetings view. And change the name of this view as calendar. Change the layout to calendar. And modify the property setting so that only type and attendees will show. Check all views if everything's in order. We purposefully wanted to keep the previous tutorial simple and easy, but there are many additional possibilities when it comes to keeping track of notes in Notion. First of all, through some integrations and automations, we could automatically add your upcoming meetings into your Notion database. Also, if you have your task or project management set up in Notion as well, we could integrate these two so that, for example, your meeting agenda could automatically show embedded views about the project status or other important information that you need to look at while having the meeting. Also, we could create an embedded view of your task list, which would allow you to add new tasks so that they will automatically go to your master task list for your team members. Notion nowadays has a built-in AI functionality, which for example allows us to automatically summarize the meeting notes as well as automatically pinpoint what are the exact tasks that you agreed on and automatically list the tasks uh, agreed on during the meeting. So there are also many other possibilities than what we showed in this simple tutorial. How would your life be easier if you not only had your meeting notes, but also your projects, tasks, leads, clients, all work and information organized in one place using Notion. Our team of Notion certified specialists helps businesses like yours every day in creating their custom workspace on Notion to keep all information and work organized in one place. If you're interested to discuss the possibilities, I'm happy to set up a free discovery call. You will find the link in the video description. We're hoping to talk to you soon to learn more about your challenges when it comes to systemizing and keeping your business organized. Did you like this tutorial? If so, please give us a thumbs up and do subscribe to our channel. I will be regularly publishing new videos explaining about business systems, organization, and notion. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.